During an interview on Late Night with Seth Meyers, Amy Poehler didn't hold back and called Meghan Markle a wannabe. Despite the common trend for celebrities to be cautious about discussing their colleagues, Poehler stood out as someone unafraid to speak her mind openly. Her recent comment aimed at Meghan Markle during the entertaining conversation in New York City sparked significant attention from media outlets worldwide. Using her trademark candor, Poehler humorously labeled the Duchess of Sussex as a wannabe, causing the audience to burst into laughter and stirring up countless reactions on the internet. Before we proceed further, kindly hit that subscribe button and activate notifications for more updates. The conversation between Poehler and Myers started as a harmless chat. The two have worked together on comedy projects since their time on Saturday Night Live. Their talk was meant to focus on Poehler's recent literary endeavors, including her book, Yes, Please, and upcoming directorial ventures. Nonetheless, live TV often has surprises in store. This interview proved no exception. Myers, renowned for his ability to extract sincere answers from interviewees, nonchalantly mentioned Meghan Markle. Amy, he quizzed with a sly smile and leaning in closer, what are your thoughts on Meghan Markle's recent pivot towards Hollywood? Polar didn't hesitate at all. In her characteristic toneless mannerisms, she retorted back saying, oh yeah. You mean that aspiring starlet? The crowd burst into laughter, uncertain whether Polar was jesting or unleashing one of the harshest insults in showbiz annals. Myers appeared stunned by her remarks' brusque candor and unpredictability. Admirers of Amy Poehler have long been aware that she has a reputation for speaking truthfully with humor as her weapon to slice through Hollywood pretensions. Hence, the comment wasn't entirely unforeseen. Poehler is not known for sugarcoating her words, whether she's teasing friends in a comedic performance or providing insightful guidance through her memoir. However, what motivated Poehler to mock Meghan Markle, who has been praised and condemned with equal fervor? The answer lies within the intricate workings of Hollywood politics and how Poehler has navigated her position amidst it all. Meghan Markle's path from a Hollywood actress to British royalty and back again has been an exhilarating ride. Having formerly headlined the legal series Suits, she had already made her mark in show business before making significant lifestyle changes like marrying Prince Harry, which elevated her status as the Duchess of Sussex in 2018. For some time after that momentous event, Meghan traded glitzy movie sets for regal decorum and obligations of royal existence. However, that chapter didn't last long. In 2020, Markle and Prince Harry made headlines by resigning from their royal responsibilities as they yearned for a more concealed lifestyle and an escape from the continuous examination of British tabloids. The duo migrated to California where they have since secured profitable contracts with Netflix and Spotify, initiated a podcast while even dropping off documentary series for viewership pleasure. Markle has expressed openly about her challenges with mental well-being, discrimination on the basis of race, and the expectations that come along with being a royal. She embodies a fresh kind of public figure who bridges royalty and Hollywood by leveraging her popularity to champion social issues while simultaneously remaining an object captivating enormous interest from society's eyes. Did Polar only jokingly refer to Markle as a wannabe, or was there more behind her comment? Perhaps she intended to ridicule the notion that despite being royalty, Markle is still trying hard to acquire Hollywood's fame and power. Leaving her royal position and returning to show business could be regarded as an attempt by Markle at regaining attention on herself. It is widely known that Hollywood can be challenging to navigate, even for someone as esteemed as the Duchess. The industry abounds with individuals striving to establish themselves, so Markle's comeback may simply indicate her desire to cement a significant position in showbiz. One could interpret Polar's statement as a criticism of the prevalent practice among celebrities to exploit their influence for self-promotion disguised as philanthropic or social activist initiatives. Over time, there has been an increasing distrust towards these famous personalities who seem to leverage their causes mainly for branding purposes rather than sincere compassion. It's crucial to highlight that Amy Poehler has consistently exhibited sharp humor without malice. As a comedian, her approach involves pushing limits and causing discomfort in the audience, intending to provoke more profound reflection. Thus, within this framework of comedic style, her remark about being a wannabe becomes part of an effort towards challenging common notions on fame, power dynamics, and genuineness. Controversial subjects hold no fear for Polar. Whether tackling the struggles of women in Hollywood, poking fun at celebrity absurdity, or examining the weighty challenge of motherhood head-on, she brings a unique blend of honesty and wit that strikes a chord with her audience. In Yes, Please, her memoir, 
Polar underscores the value of staying true to oneself even if it requires swimming against convention's current. According to Polar, the essence lies in performing rather than ruminating. The act itself is what counts, she notes. This outlook appears to inform a significant portion of her professional strategy and may have influenced her remark on Markle as well. Polar doesn't believe in playing it safe or following societal norms. She values authenticity and staying true to oneself, even if that means shaking things up a bit. It comes as no surprise that Polar, 